we compare numbers, we can use two number paths arranged one on top of another. Using sets of linking cubes, we can begin by representing each of the quantities. Each linking cube corresponds to a space on the number path. Label each number path with a number card showing the two quantities that are being compared. We can use the number paths to see that seven is more than three because there are more linking cubes and we counted more spaces on the number path. Three is less than seven because there are fewer linking cubes and fewer spaces were counted on the number path. As students understand how each space is counted on the number path, Quantities can be represented with one linking cube. Count each space on the number path to confirm each quantity before comparisons are made. Eight is less than 10 because fewer spaces were counted, or eight is less than 10. 10 is greater than eight because more spaces were counted. The most abstract representation of quantities is the number only. We can use comparison mats to compare two numbers such as 6 and 1. 6 is more than 1. Make sure that students understand that it's not a true comparison if we switch the order of the number cards. If needed, number paths can still be used to represent each quantity and make comparisons. Students can also use the number path to generate numbers that are one more than or one less than a given number. Using three horizontal number paths, students can use a spinner to generate a starting quantity. Model this quantity using a counter on the middle number path. Then, using additional counters, students can identify a number that is one more than and one less than three. Quantities can be presented to students using concrete models, pictorial models, oral presentations, and numerals. Don't forget that if the number one is spun, while there is no space for zero on a number path, zero is one less than the number one. As students become more proficient with the use of number paths, they can simply use number cards to generate a starting quantity and proceed by identifying a number that is one more than and one less than the starting quantity. Once again, if needed, number paths can still be used to represent each quantity and generate values that are one more than or one less than the starting quantity.